Hello everyone, I'm your host Eric Mulder and this is The Eric Show. I'm in sunglasses, I'm in my wet shirt, my bathing suit, but you can't see my bathing suit. So, I'm all ready for summer. I know it's a little too late. I'm not talking about the way it goes summer. I'm talking about I'm all ready for SummerSlam 2010 WWE SummerSlam pay per view tonight at 8 o'clock. It begins. Now I'm going to take the glasses off because, first of all, First of all, I dropped my pen again. What the hell am I with dropping my pen? First of all, if I don't take them off, I would be a hypocrite because I hate when people wear glasses inside. I just want to wear them just to bring out this summer to open this episode up. Okay? Now, to uh, let's continue with our Bible reading. Okay. Are we on trap the... No, okay. The land of Zapio and the land of Nephew, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Jalim of the Genesee. The people were sat in duck necks, saw great light, and to them were sat in the region and shadow of duck of death light is sprung up. From that time, Jesus began to breathe preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Jasmine, say to Bethlehem, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And that is our Bible reading for the day, for our episode, I mean. Now, when we, t- when we come back after commercial break, we will begin our topic, and our topic is one and only, or, well, I wanted something fun because today it's SummerSlam, but the topic is cyberbullying. So, we are going to let go of the fun and talk about cyberbullying. We'll be right back. We are back! And guess what? I lied. We're not doing cyberbullying. Let's have some fun this summer and make fun of your little gaga. Some fun this beat is sick. I wanna take a ride on your dick so sick. Some fun this beat is sick. I wanna take a ride on your dick so sick. Okay, come on now. I don't want to take a ride on your dick so sick. I don't want to take a ride on your dick so sick because Gaga is a sick freak bitch. Oh yeah, I just said it. She is a sick bitch. I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say. <gasps> oh, that's what I was going to say. Gaga is a freak. Alright? If you want to be a little monster, then you're a freak too. Because Gaga is a little freak. Alright, Ketra may be an animal, but Gaga is a freak. Now, please, come on now. She thinks about dancing on your dick so sick. Come on now, we all know what that means. That means Gaga, Lady Gaga, wanted to dance on her father, poor. And you know what that means. Her father, poor. The 50-year-old, poor. Oh, yeah, I just said that. The 50-year-old, poor. Okay? Because guess what? You know, Gaga sings about Alejandro. Do you know who Alejandro is? Look Lady Gaga up and her facts. Because Alejandro... Is her father. Alright? She is in a love triangle between between her father, Alejandro, and an unknown bitch. Now, who will she choose? She chose Alejandro because he, she sung the song. She named the song Alejandro. So she picked Alejandro. Because she is a nasty freak. They want to play with the father butthole. 
No, I did not just talk about Lady Gaga like that. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. <gasps> the monster just attacked me. How dare that monster attack me? I will be right back. I'm gonna go kill the monster. I'm back. I kill the monster. How dare she? She kill me. Well, at least try to. And I'm gonna t kill her by the telephone. <laughs> because she is dead. I hate her. The little monster thinks she knows everything. Well, I will be right back. Because I'm gonna kill the Gaga for good. Yes, sir. I am here for Gaga. I have what you want. The gun. Now, you really want Gaga dead. So I will kill Gaga before she touches me. Are you ready to have a Gaga war? <laughs> oh my god, I think I just. Gaga. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. Gaga. No more Gaga. No more Gaga. There's no more Gaga.